Hey everybody. Today I wanted to talk about kind of some backyard ballistics testing. Uh, a lot of people will shoot their favorite carry round or hunting bullet into water jugs in the backyard. And, you know, some people poo-poo this method. Um, I think there's some merit to it. There is actual scientific study. Uh, a projectile in uh, water will penetrate 1.6 to 2 times as far as it will in tissue. That's actually established science. Um, I know Dr. Roberts, Gary K. Roberts, uh, head of the IWBA, has uh, said that before. And I, I'm not sure if it was Duncan McPherson or Fackler, but the uh, point is, it's a, it's a fact. It's something that's been proven uh, time and again. But uh, I tested the Barnes X bullet, specifically the 70 grain Barnes X bullet. And at 100 yards, it's moving at about 2330, 2340 from my SBR and I shot this into water jugs at 100 yards and it penetrated through five of them that's about 30 inches of water and it's beautiful it's a textbook expanded bullet and looks just like the Barnes catalog stuff anyway how does it measure up It's like 0 0.470 inches roughly. Let's see if that's the widest point. Yeah. A little over. 0 0.473 it looks like at the widest point. And just under 0 0.7 inches long. As you can see, it's textbook. The uh, twist, the sp spin rate, if you will, it's extremely fast. Uh, it's like I for, I didn't I haven't calculated at this velocity for a one in seven barrel, but it's many many RPMs like one hundred and fifty thousand or something. Um, you know, someone to check my math on that. But what does it weigh? What's the retained weight from our thirty inches of milk jugs? Survey says 69.9 grains. All right, that's water jugs. I've never been attacked by a water jug and I've never hunted a water jug. So what's this gonna do to a deer? Uh, something like that. Uh, just so happens, you know, I'm sure you know where this is going if you watch my channel. I actually recovered a TSX bullet from a deer I shot him at 95 yards in the chest and found it in his hind leg. He was quartering ever so slightly and it made it all the way to his back uh, hind leg, his thigh. I uh, didn't measure how many inches that was and you know animals are not homogenous like water or ballistics gelatin. They have cavities and bones and all sorts of things. But this bullet also is textbook, like what you'd find in a Barnes catalog. Just like what we got from our backyard test with the water jugs. And how large is this bullet? Our largest diameter, 1.46. 275. That's a really, really close to our water jug bullet. Really close. And the deer was hit at about 95 yards, hit him right in the chest, broke a few ribs uh, up near the spine, and then passed through soft tissue. This bullet is almost yeah, 
uh, just a little over 0.7. It didn't expand quite as far out. So it retained a little more length. And what's our retained weight on this beautiful thing? Oh, turn our scale back on there. All right, survey says 69.9 grains, 69.8. Let's see if it's zeroed out. Nope, we need to zero it. There we go, zeroed out. Here's our water jug bullet, 70.0. Here's our bullet from our deer. Yeah, it's right on the cusp of 70. I think suffice it to say that those two bullets performed almost identically. You could shoot two of them into water jugs and get as much variance as I did from a water jug to a deer, I think. And I think that that is super cool that these bullets perform so similar in game as they do on water jugs. You know, the, the hollow point in a TSX 70 grain round is not the most uh, most massive of hollow points. And so I was always kind of just a little bit skeptical. You know, is this gonna plug with fur, bone, fat, gristle? Is it gonna actually expand? Um, and this thing expanded extremely rapidly in the animal uh, as evidenced by the entrance. So anyway, there you have it. That's a pretty good correlation between soft tissue and water in the backyard, at least for TSX rifle rounds. I thought that was pretty cool. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, as always, it's about being safe, learning, and having fun. So go out there, be safe, shoot some stuff. <laughs>